to remember the gifts that Jesus has given us. Among the many gifts we have received are the bread and wine that Jesus shared with his friends at the Last Supper. This was not ordinary bread, and it was not ordinary wine. Through the sharing of his food and drink, the followers of Jesus were challenged to remember him, to keep him in their minds and hearts all that he had told them, and above all, to remember what he had done for them. Let us begin this time of prayer by singing Song of the Body of Christ. Thank you.
He said once that anyone who wanted to be his follower had to take up the cross and follow with them. What a strange man he was. Who would ever want to suffer? I like to have fun. I would have saved Jesus if he, if he worked some tricks, some miracles for me, but he would not even speak to me. I killed his cousin John the Baptist. Jesus should have been afraid of me, but he just stood there and looked at me.
I saw Jesus falling on the cross right last to us. He wouldn't be around much longer. Would he?
I went to see him. I began to cry and wash his feet in my tears. He forgave me right there and there. I was one of the few disciples that stood next to his cross at the very end. I was there when he asked for something to drink. I was there when he cried out, it's finished. Then he died. My Jesus stopped breathing. I was there to see the death of Jesus. Were you there too? Hail Mary, 
Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and be our heart of heaven. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, O Lord God, and Amen.